In this problem, we're told Richard is driving home to visit his parents. 125 miles of the trip are on an interstate highway where the speed limit is 65 miles per hour. Normally, Richard drives at the speed limit, but today he is running late and decides to take his chances by driving at 70 miles per hour. How many minutes does he save? So in order to solve this problem, you need to know the formula that V is equal to D over T. But keep in mind, we're trying to find time. So what you want to do is solve this for T. So if I multiply both sides by T, we'll get TV equals uh, D. And then if you divide both sides by V, you're going to get that T is equal to D divided by V. So T equals D over V. And so what we want to do is we're given the distance, right? 125 miles. But the velocities, we're going to calculate two different scenarios. One scenario where he goes 65 miles per hour and one scenario where he goes 70. So let's calculate each scenario. So let's start with the first one, right? So the time it's going to take is going to be the distance, which is 125 miles over how fast he's going for the first one, which is going to be 65 miles per hour. If the units weren't the same, so if this was uh, if this was miles and this wasn't, what you would have to do is convert this to whatever unit this was in. But in this case, they're both miles, so we're pretty lucky on that. And so it's going to be 65 miles per hour. So if you do this, these are going to cancel. You're going to get 125 over 65. And I'm going to leave this in fraction form. You could use your calculator and divide, uh, but your answer isn't going to be as accurate. So if you go ahead and do this, uh, you're going to get 25 over 13 if you divide both these numbers by 5, right? 65 divided by 5 is 13, and 125 divided by 5 is 25. It's just simplifying uh, the fraction. You should know how to do that by now. So let's start with the second scenario now. So this one's going to be 70 miles per hour. Keep in mind, though, it's going to be 125 miles, so the distance is going to be the same. The only thing that changes is this. So 70 miles per hour. The miles are going to cancel again, so it's just going to be 125 divided by 70. And if you go ahead and uh, do this, right, so if you divide both by 5, uh, you're going to get, well, this is going to be 125 over 70, right? So divided by 5, 25 on top again, except for on the bottom, it's going to be 14. So... Keep in mind that this is going to be in hours, correct? So both of these are in hours. So if we subtract this, right, we're trying to find how many minutes he saves. So if we take uh, how long or how long it's going to take him if he goes 70 miles per hour, and we subtract how long it takes him to go 65 miles per hour, and we take those times and we subtract, we're going to get the time he saves. So it's going to be 25 over 14 minus 25 over 13. And if you do this uh, in your calculator, you're going to get, 0.137 or about that so keep in mind that this is going to be in hours right so 0.137 hours but what i think you should do is convert this into minutes just because this is kind of a weird number right it's just a decimal so if we convert it to minutes the way you want to do that is just take your time in hours 0.13 hours and then you just multiply it by 60 essentially because we know that for every one hour there's going to be 60 minutes right so if we just multiply it by 60 it's going to change it into minutes so 0.137 times 60 uh, is going to be 8.24. Keep in mind, it's in minutes now. So 8.24 uh, minutes. So this right here is going to be the amount of time he saves. And so hopefully you found this useful.